Hallelujah, everyone. Joining, God bless you. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. What a beautiful and amazing day that the Lord has made, that we all should rejoice and be glad. Today, I bring us God's word. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The title of this particular prophetic word says, Hallelujah. This particular group of people has sent the same thing that killed your mother after your life. And their mission is for you to end up in the same way your mother ended, for in Jesus' name. Welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I'm the man God is using to bless us with his word. God bless you. God bless you all family for in Jesus' name. This is not an ordinary, hallelujah, prophetic word. God is doing great things through this particular word. Please kindly key and connect to this particular prophetic word as you listen from the beginning to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. At the place of prayer, family, I was praying and meditating. Praise Master Jesus. Yeah, I saw a particular woman right now. Exactly what happened to your mother is what you are going through. Hallelujah. This particular woman that this word is going to, your mother, your mother died mysteriously. And you have never find out what killed your mother. People gave you fake rumors. And this is how your family has been under attack. Problems upon problems. Everybody is on their own. There is no unity. There is no strength. No one seems to help another. No one seems to show love to other. As individuals in the family, everyone is struggling on their own. Yes, the devil has teared the family apart. And right now, the mission of this particular spell is that you would definitely end up as your mother. One thing I tell people, hallelujah, we want to heal the water where we are standing. We don't want to go to the spring. There are ancestral curls in our life that we need to go to the spring. Elisha told the elders of the city, take me to the spring, take me to the fountain, take me where the water begins. That is where we are going to break this pattern. It's not where you're standing. The battle you're fighting is not a battle of one hour prayers. Hallelujah. You are fighting a battle that was there. You are fighting an altar that was there before you were born. You are fighting something that has been fighting against your families. For quite a long time, you need to go to the spring. At the place of prayer, the Lord told me, someone need to experience the desert. Hallelujah. Someone need to experience the desert so that this particular pattern can be broken. What do I mean by desert? The Lord instructs this particular woman to embark yourself on a fasting and prayers. Desert experience. The theme of your fasting should be a desert experience that I want to encounter the desert experience. A desert is a place that no one can find it comfortable to be there. The Lord says you need to make yourself uncomfortable at this particular point of time. The Lord says you need to put yourself in a way that you have never been. Create time in the name of Jesus. I saw a spell. Your mother died by accident. Someone is responsible. And right now, exactly what your mother went through is what you're going through. There are a lot of people watching me right now. They are saying, Pastor Bazi, you're right. My mother died at the age of 30, 40, 50. Right now, what happened to my mother is exactly what happened to me. There are people who say, my mother, I'm the only child of my mother. She gave birth to me through oppression and died. You have never tried to investigate or find out what kills your mother, to address it in the realm of the spirit. You, you don't care, praise Master Jesus. There are people right now, there are some levels in our family that we never crosses. We have never find out what really happened. The Lord says, somebody should encounter the desert experience. I don't know for as many that are watching and connecting. If this particular world is for you, God is asking you to take a retreat. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus says in, uh, on the Bible, uh, Jesus says, this kind can only go out by fasting and by prayer. There are some kind of attack in our life that cannot go out with that type of way we are praying. As individual, we need to go back to our closest. Seek God. Encounter the desert. 
go to the desert and come back with a new you, with a different you, so that people will realize that at this point of time, yes, there are Christians, there are people that when they go into the desert and come back, even the devil advise himself that we cannot touch this one, because where this one is coming from, had this one was standing in the outer court, now he has entered the inner court, in the inner court I need to be very careful, child of God, I don't know, I want to see how many people are ready to experience the desert, how many people are ready for the desert experience? If you are ready, this is your personal decision alone. As I see your comment, I will pray and ask God to empower you as you go for the desert experience. May God break that particular curse, that pattern, that covenant, that spirit that have been behind you and your family in the name of Jesus. If you are ready, drop a prophetic comment. Man of God, I'm ready. I'm ready for the desert experience. Man of God, I'm ready for the desert experience. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching, family. Make sure you take this retreat in the name of Jesus. Pass according to your to your heart. Why? Praise Master Jesus. It might be one day from your heart. It might be three days. It might be five days. It might be seven days. It might be 12 days. It might be 21 days. Make yourself this particular time, hallelujah, to encounter that desert experience. As you go to your desert, Hallelujah. God will step in and that particular spell that was cast behind you, it will go back to sender and something will happen in the realm of the spirit. For in Jesus' name, amen.